Come on, lads. Oh, brilliant. Yes, I'm actually outside the stadium of light. I don't know whether I'll get told off for doing it, but if I do, then I'll just have to do one later. Either way, though, get in. We've avoided relegation. God, it sounds so sad that I'm actually happy that we've stayed up yet again in finishing 17th, but the fact we've managed to relegate Newcastle as well as stay up, it's unbelievable. The feeling is fantastic, and we've done it. We're safe with a game to spare. Thank you very much, Big Sam. Come on! Whew. Well, Everton were poor tonight. They were very, very, they were quite shocking, actually. They had all the possession in the world, but as we've learned before, you can have all the possession in the world if you like, but if you're not going to be doing, you're not going to be prepared to do anything with it and actually penetrate the opposition team, then having all the possession means diddly squat. It doesn't mean anything. So, you know, but thankfully we were professional enough tonight and we were able to just get the job done with a game to spare. So now we can enjoy the final game of the season. So it doesn't, but I mean, I will first of all say any Newcastle fans wanting this video, I do apologise for you getting relegated. I don't feel sorry enough for you because I wanted my team to stay up ahead of yours, obviously, but at the same time, your board made very stupid decisions as to why, you, as to why you've gone down. Newcastle and Sunderland should both never be in a position like this. Uh, and I'm hoping, I personally hope Rafa Benitez leaves because I want them to stay in the championship for a few seasons, but if they do persuade him to stay, there's no reason why they can't come back up. But I'm not going to talk about Newcastle, I'm talking about Sunderland. So, um, yeah, I mean, the tactics were good today. We managed to get everything, well, relatively spot on. We dealt with Everton very comfortably. Uh, it looked like a four, four at the back system at first and then reverted to five at the back. But, you know, sorry, the emotions are going all over my all over in my head right now. And I just kind of believe we've done it again. But, you know, admittedly now, we have to get this summer right. I'll talk more about that next time in the, in the video after the Watford. I'll talk more about that at the end of the season or after the Watford game. Which, to be honest, now I don't give two monkeys about the Watford game. If we we'll lose, we'll lose. We've already achieved our objective, which was to stay up. So, I mean, but now I'd like to hope that finally, with Big Sam at the helm, can we finally have a summer where we get off the, off the pitch decisions correct and stop wasting time and fannying about with this, oh, let's go to America to do all this stupid pre-season crap. Actually stay in England and focus on getting the players match fit for next season. We cannot afford to keep doing this every single time. Those fans that pack that stadium, there was a near sellout tonight, 49,000. Well, barely any Everton fans came, but that's beside the point. You know, look at all, <laughs> look, one of my mates is going crazy into a brick wall here. Um, Honestly, with one of me meets, yeah, there it is. Dean 448, there he is. Hey! Yeah, anyway, yeah, good in. Get yes! Go in! Honestly, but um, that stadium that was like 45, 47 odd thousand, 48 thousand maybe Sunderland fans deserve so much better. As does the 52,000 of Newcastle. You know, I'm not going to be biased here. You know, both clubs deserve so much better. Good, thankfully, we're at least playing in the same league as Burnley and Middlesbrough next season. Then we'll just have to wait and see who comes up in the playoffs. Anyway, but um, look guys, this is very, very good. Finally, the wait is over. I can stop saying, well, hopefully we'll stay up. If we stay up, or in the event we stay up. No, we are staying up. We're Sunderland and we're not going anywhere. For now, anyway, for another season at the very least. But we have to get the off-the-pitch off, off the pitch stuff correct. I'm sick to death of watching us start slowly every year and having to wait until the very end of blooming October to get our first Premier League win. I'm sick to death of seeing that. I want to see a win in August. I want to see by the time we get to October, get to about 10 to 12 points. We need, to, we need to start next season correctly. I hate starting slowly. And when you consider how bad we were at the start of the season, it's a miracle that we managed to get Big Sam in, get the right manager to get in and come and keep us up. Hopefully we can finally build on this. Don't have, please, next season, I'm not asking for top 10, I'm not asking for Champions League, I'm not being deluded in any way, shape or form. All I'm asking is a season between 11th and 14th and not being knee deep in a relegation battle. I can accept if we look over our shoulders a little bit, but generally if we're comfortably safe and mathematically safe by say mid-April, something like that, that'd be absolutely great to see and it's an improvement on what we've seen over the last four seasons because it's underachievement, it has been underachievement. Anyway, but I said, Lamine Corny getting two goals tonight. I never thought I'd say that in a sentence. Um, you know, and then obviously, oh, I forgot we got the other one. No, Van Anhol from a deflected free kick, but it doesn't matter how we got it. I said I didn't give two shits, sorry for my language, how we won the game, as long as that we won the game. Anyway, guys, I shall love you all and leave you there. And the emotions are running very high right now. The fan zone that's next to us, down there, I'm sure it's going to be partying for a little bit. You know, um, I mean, it's not quite Leicester winning the league, but it's still... It's good for us just to at least um, not celebrate, but relief at achieving survival. Because to be honest, we should be comfortably staying up anyway. 
so that shouldn't be an achievement. But hopefully next season, if we get the on the pitch, stuff, off the pitch stuff, and on the pitch stuff right, get the mentality right, get the right players, and get off to a good start next season. Hopefully, we'll have a season at least where we're not going to be involved knee deep in a relegation battle. And if fingers crossed, we can finally start shooting up the table and have a couple of seasons of stabilisation and hopefully move on to bigger and better things. Because if Newcastle as well, but especially Sunderland, deserve, the fans deserve to see much better here. Anyway guys, I love you and leave you. Take care and yes we are staying up, come on!